Praise the Lord. My name is Veronica. Today, I am going to speak a few words about Esther. There are so many characters in the Bible I admire, but I think I would have to say Hadassah, also known as Esther, who became queen to the Persian king. She is my favorite because she interceded for her people before the king, knowing that she could be executed for coming before the king without being summoned. But her response to this possibility was, if I perish, I perish. Esther is a young Jewish woman living in exile in the Persian diaspora who through her youth and beauty becomes the queen of the Persian empire and then by her wits and courage saves the Jewish people from destruction. She is identified as the daughter of Avihel and the cousin and adopted daughter of Mordecai from the tribe of Benjamin. After Esther becomes the queen, her cousin Mordecai becomes involved in a power struggle with Haman as he refuses to bow before Haman. This so infuriates Haman that he resolves not only to put Mordecai to death but also slaughter his entire people. He secures the king's permission to do this and a date is set. When Mordecai learns of Haman's plot, he rushes to the palace to inform Esther, weeping and clothed in sackcloth. At this point, Esther's character comes to the fore. The blind and obedient Esther becomes a woman of action. She appears unsummoned before the king and in a superb moment of understatement, she asks the king to a dinner party. After the king is sufficiently beguiled by her charms, she reveals the true purpose the unmasking of Haman and his plot. She reveals for the first time her identity as a Jew and accuses Haman of his plot to harm her and her people. Haman is executed and, and the Jews receive permission to defend themselves from their enemies, which they do with a great success. Jews celebrate the, God, the day of God's deliverance from Haman known as Purim. Jesus himself celebrated this festival according to the Gospel of John. Esther is my favorite character because of her three characteristics, initiative, faith and courage. Thank you.